Hi, I'm Cynthia. And I'm Chris. And we're the Hanye family. And for those of you who are new here, welcome. Let's enjoy some great music together. Yes. Yeah, so what do we got today for our goodies? Well, today we're going to do another comparison because it's Wednesday. And because it's Valentine's Day, we're going to do something emotional. <laughs> uh, this is uh, a comparison between Smokey Robinson and Japan. Yeah. Yeah, that was interesting to us just hearing that. Yeah, no kidding. Mm. But uh, the song is called I Second That Emotion. We definitely know Smokey's version of this song. We definitely do. Um, we didn't know Japan did it, though. No. <laughs> so uh, we're definitely interested in that version. Yeah. But, uh, oh, yes, the people who asked for it. We have Robert Bagley, uh, Jonathan Cole, and Mark Brennan. Yeah. So happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Uh, yes. Valentine's Day. We had a, a nice little dinner. Yes, ourselves. quite a good dinner. It's very nice. She had steak. I'm so full. Oh. She's still full. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, we're definitely interested, like I said. So uh, let's get into this. This is Smokey Robinson and the Miracles. I second that emotion. love this song it's a great song it's so fantastic yeah i like how i never really listened to the meaning of the song before to be honest mm -hmm. but i like how he's basically saying he doesn't want just a one night stand with this person he's mm -hmm. like if you want to give me a lifetime of devotion i'm all in yeah you know yeah but he just doesn't want to do the flings kind of thing he yeah. doesn't do that that's fair that's what it seems like my son's that way he doesn't like the idea of just he wants to find a real relationship. Yeah. He doesn't want to fling. He just, he wants something more real. Yeah. No, it was always my way, too. He's at that age now anyway where, you know, of course he's looking for something more. Yeah. He's past his mid-20s now. I was, I was like that very <laughs> you know? early on, actually. I mean, uh, yeah. there were a few maybe flings I had when I was single. Yeah. Very, very few, though. Most times I was thinking, you know, if I'm going to be with this person, I'm going to be with this person. Yeah, Luke's like that. That's how that. it is. It's Luke... just, just how I was raised. Yeah, Luke's that way, too, actually. As a teenager in high school, he dated the same girl for quite a while. Yeah. And then it wasn't his idea that they weren't together anymore, you yeah. know what I mean? But once you it's get to a certain point, he is. once you realize sometimes that it's not as compatible as you thought yeah you move on right right but that's that's the only time i ever did was when i was thinking because this is this is just fling. wrong and not working that or they broke up with me you know? he's had a fling or two but yeah. most of his whole thing is he always wanted a relationship oh yeah you know it's the best way yeah really 
So hopefully he finds one soon. <laughs> hey, that's that's the way things work, right? This is a great song. I like the uh, the guitar coloring in on the left ear. Yeah. So nice. And Just, the vocals are gorgeous. Uh, of course they are. These guys are amazing. <laughs> yes. So, all right, let's continue. That was fantastic. Oh, my gosh. There's that definite Funk Brothers feel to it, right? Yep. Now, I, I noticed, the, and it's a very familiar drum sound. There were, they had a few drummers, but there was this one sound. I don't even know the name of the guy. I, I, I have a video of the Funk Brothers. Uh, what was it called? I don't remember what it was called. I don't remember what the video was <laughs> called. There's a documentary about the Funk Brothers. You guys probably know what it's called. Yeah. And But there was that familiar sound one of the drummers had dum -ba -dum. <laughs> and it's in this song a lot so you know yeah. who, i know who was playing the drums at that point <laughs> yeah but i mean i don't know what japan can do with this to make it better i there's such a different style hard to say, hard to say. Huh. well i guess we're gonna find out what they did with it i guess i have no idea what it's gonna be like in comparison so i can't say yet of course Mm. who i think did it better because i have no clue <laughs> well we'll have to find out yeah and we'll do that right now this is japan with i second that emotion This is very interesting. Yeah. It's an odd modernization of the song. It is, for sure. Um, I don't know. It feels pretty interesting, though. Like, just mm. the way it's put together. Yeah. You can tell it's the same song, but it's very different style. Oh, for sure. I mean, you know? But it's, uh, it's definitely unique. You know, it's yeah. not just an 80s version of the song. It's very yeah, interesting. It's, it's different than you would expect, for sure. They changed it up quite a bit. Mm, for sure. You know? And I got to give props to the drummer. 
he was a fan of the drummer. Yeah, I heard that too. He, yeah. Dum, dum, dum. It, it was right there a number of times, so he was doing it on purpose. Yeah. So yeah. props to that. Vocal styling, I don't care for quite mm. as much, to be honest. Yeah, that low baritone feel it's, just doesn't. It's not that. It's the way that he does. He forms some of his vowels. Okay. Um, you tie. You tend to not catch the lyrics as nicely. Okay. Because of the way he does it. Yeah, I'm yeah. not really a fan of the baritone version of that though. I mean, if you you know, Smokey was singing in falsetto. Yeah. And it just it just I don't know, needs it, just seemed to work. it breathes more life into it is what it is. Yeah. That's yeah. what it is. Um, well done, mind you. I mean, and, and oh, it's beautifully done. For it's sure, a great cover. And it's definitely theirs. You know, it's not like I said. It's yeah, not just an exactly. '80s version of the song. It's a different version of the song. Yeah, it's not which, a straight up cover. It's a different version. Yeah. It, yeah. I enjoyed that. I appreciate that most definitely. Yeah. So let's finish it. All right. done pretty well mm. but the problem i have with it is that it feels a little too dark almost like just because of the tone of it it bit. tends to it tends to make it feel like there's a sadness in there too and there mm. shouldn't be because it's not a sad song <laughs> no it was not in a minor key it's just kind no of... it's not in a minor key but it's got this low tone to it you know what mm. i mean yeah well it, it doesn't give you that same kind of upbeat feel yeah, it doesn't have the energy yeah that's the thing it that's makes it it, it makes it just feel uh a little bit yeah you know what i mean it's a great song it's well done oh, yeah. it's just not got the right feel to it yeah i like though that it's a cover that stands on its own it's it, yeah you know, it's not that's for sure it's not Smokey robinson in a lower tone or Smokey yeah. robinson in in an 80s style it's, oh i'll give them that for it's sure japan, it's, them. It's, it's definitely you a know? japan song at this point right yeah they did it their way and yeah. that made sense to me that was a good idea for them to change it up that being said you know um, but that being said Smokey's version's my favorite for yeah sure. i have to go with it i mean smoky it just it's smoky yeah right? and it just it just felt way better Mm. I mean, not that the Japan version was bad. It was very well done. Yeah. And again, props to the drummer for putting that in. Yes. You have, <laughs> you have to, if, if you're doing it, you got to show that you have some kind of acknowledgement of the original. Yes. And that definitely was. A, it's a good ode to the uh, drummer of the Funky Brothers. Yes. So what a fantastic request. Thank you the very Funk much. The Funky Brothers, my mistake. Now, you guys know who we think did it better. Please let us know who you guys think did it better down in the comments. We always read those. It's a mm -hmm. lot of fun. Absolutely. Hmm. Sorry. Don't forget to check us out over on Patreon. It's $3 a month, and we're adding things there all the time. Also, we have a P.O. box if you're interested. The information's in all the descriptions of our videos. Mm -hmm. Please like and subscribe to the channel and become one of our goonies. Share with your family and friends. Click that notification bell if you don't want to miss a video. And don't forget to enjoy yourself. 
Later. Later.